Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Libra? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that the energies are not too heavy. <laughs> I want to wish every one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Now let's get right into your reading, Libra. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now your first card here is the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Strength card, and the Moon card. Okay. What's going on, Libras? There is... There is a feeling of wanting to relive the past or nostalgia. It's almost like reflecting towards the past. The Three of Pentacles does signify um, going into, I want to say, the end of October, the beginning of November. You're going to be feeling like you're connecting with people people are understanding you they're vibing to your energy they're feeling you um there is a lot of opportunities here for love for you libra but like i said there's almost a feeling of looking towards the past or feeling a bit nostalgic about the past about opportunities that perhaps you let pass you by with the ace of swords there is an understanding or a clear concise understanding of the wrongdoings in the past and getting to the point of acknowledging that you're tired, that you're not going to keep sacrificing yourself or waiting on a person that just does not, like all they give to you is confusion. All they give to you is uh, a lot of like unknowing of where you stand with them now with the five of wands this is a struggle that you've been dealing with but with the strength card you're finally you're finally coming into your own libra and you're coming to the realization that if the partner or the person that you've been dealing with up until now doesn't make a move or doesn't show you or prove to you that they want you in their life you're not going to deal with it anymore, especially with the coming of this full moon on the 31st of October. There is, keep in mind, we, we, we're going into your sign, Libra. So what this means, what it represents is that you're going to be highlighted and with Ketu in the Scorpio house, which is the eighth, it rules the eighth house, Pluto going return. There's major transformations here, but it all has to do with the subconscious. So it's all of that that we've been carrying, all of that that we've been suppressing. Our true nature, our true desires are going to be coming up. And it's for us to acknowledge if they help us or if they hinder us moving forward and what we need to do to self-actualize for us to have a clear, concise idea of what we look for in a partner and no longer settling or no longer allowing people to make that decision for you. Now, with the Nine of Wands and the Moon card, I feel that you guys give in to a lot of like caring what people have to say or how they view you or how they view your partner. So this could be, uh, on a grander scale, this could be that you carry, like you worry too much about your family or friends or those close to you to accept the partner you're with. And the moment that they start telling you, well, this is not a good person for you or they're, you know, I don't like them, that type of energy, it really unbalances you. It really stresses you out and you're trying to make peace with everyone. Um, and what they're telling you here is that that could be one of the things that you need to address internally. Uh, do you allow other people to get in the way of your relationships? Do you allow people to overstep their boundaries and to feel like they have the right to, to criticize or to judge the decisions you make? Or 
do they have the right to do that? And is it a pattern where you continuously keep ignoring that until the relationship doesn't work out or until you find out things that were being kept hidden or that the person you were dealing with has been doing behind your back? So all of this is something that Ketu is highlighting for you to acknowledge, to understand, so that when you're ready to overcome that and to no longer, like to detach yourself from that behavior, for then Rahu in Taurus to bring the blessings or the stability that you're looking for. But there's definitely a new idea or a new perspective in regards to how you see or how you view relationships. For some of you guys, it could be that you get news about the person that you've been dealing with that changes your perspective on how you view them or how you see them. Because the Ace of Swords could represent communication, right? Where you felt like you didn't really have clarity or you didn't really know what was going on. And then that communication comes through and you're seeing the situation from a completely different angle. You're seeing this person from a different perspective. And with the strength card, you have the strength, you have the power to either turn this situation around or to no longer allow people to continuously keep making you feel like the victim or like you're being taken for granted or like you're being taken or being played. So what they're saying here ultimately is these changes that are coming, don't resist them. If anything, embrace them because they're trying to guide you. They're trying to give you light. They're trying to shine light on that that's been happening behind the scenes. For some of you guys, it could have been um, there was a situation that information came to you in regards to your partner, the person that you're dealing with, that up until now, you still don't know what to make that, like what decision to make off of that information. It's like you're still processing it. Now, for those of you guys that are single, what they're saying here is we have to analyze, are you self-sabotaging yourself? Do you have a tendency of going after people that are very, very difficult? That you know off the bat, they have issues. <laughs> but you convince yourself that you have such a strong connection with these people that you keep allowing them to keep coming back into your life. You need to stop doing that, Libra. You need to stop doing that. You need to believe more in yourself, have more confidence in yourself, and be decisive in the decisions that you make. Be aggressive in the decisions that you make and don't look back. For some of you guys, you may be welcoming a new person into your life. You have opportunities around you with the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the five of wands, people trying to fight to get your attention. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Pisces. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Leo or air energy as well. Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, uh, not Taurus, sorry. Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo. But it's like you need to stop carrying the past with you. The past is not who you are. It brought to you lessons. You've grown from it, hopefully. Stop blaming yourself. If this is you reflecting on a past relationship that you feel like you let go of them uh, or like you self-sabotaged yourself, like let it go. Stop holding on to that regret. It's not helping you. 
you need to move on with your life. And the more you continuously keep reliving the past, the more you are putting yourself in the same situation that you're in right now, feeling like you don't have control over your love life or like you don't have control over your life. All right, Libra, I hope this gives you guys some type of understanding, some type of clarity, and I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.